Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Grade a side set, Valiant Smashers. And so we can see here, with the premiere of uh, Valiant Smashers, this side set coming out no November 16th, 2023, we can see that Memento is the weakest out of the three archetypes that are in this set, that premiere. Anyways, why is it at 10% potential-wise? It is extremely weak. Um, it's an uh, archetype with a playstyle which doesn't really go anywhere. While, yes, targeting and destruction is all very well and good, there is nothing really substantial here. And it's an archetype that does a lot of nothing. There's nothing here that's really, uh, you know, great, and nothing on the whole that we're trying to do here. Um, so what is the playstyle? The playstyle of Memento is it revolves around special summoning high-level monsters quickly for free, which with the effects that enable if the graveyard has enough Memento monster cards in it. Cards and archetypes that can send monsters to the graveyard can set up the strategy up like Lightsworn, uh, the Lightsworn archetype, or zombies in general. Since Memento monsters uh, require to have monsters in the graveyard, cards like Necro Valley or Nend, End of, a, End of Anubis can help protecting them. And so that is generally it. That is the playstyle and we have just talked about with Memento. So with this kind of playstyle, it's very outdated now in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it comes up with to RNG. And RNG now in Yu-Gi-Oh! has been power crept and really can't be doing anything. And so that's really it, which is why it has a potential of 10%. A power creep crept playstyle and philosophy aren't going to cut it in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! now. No reprints. Centurion. Potential, 60%. And so potential has, and so Centurion has the highest potential out of all the archetypes in Valiant Smashers. Now, why does it have a potential of 60%? Well, that's simply because it's, it can synchro summon on your opponent's turn. However, it can do this, but it has to do a lot of things. It needs the Centurion Field spell. It, it needs quite a lot of things. And there's... Its playstyle involves, you know, using monsters and special summoning monsters from the spell and trap zone as they equip themselves to the spell and trap zone. You have a field spell that allows you to uh, synchro summon on your opponent's turn. This means that this is an archetype, while it allows you to synchro summon on your opponent's turn, it needs a lot of things to go right. It needs monster effects to, it needs the monster effects of the Centurion monsters on the field to be able to apply effectively. Uh, whether it's from the spell or trap zone, it also needs the field spell to facilitate the synchro summoning on the opponent's turn. There's loads of um, key factors that need to be implemented in order to synchro summon successfully. With this said, this means that it can do it can do a lot, and that's why it has a higher potential of 60%, because the playstyle is solidified and it's interesting, but it's also consistent and strong. Consistency can go a long way in creating a good deck okay and so we'll see how it plays in the future okay and so we have valmonica with a potential of 40 percent valmonica is a pendulum archetype but it's a pendulum archetype that doesn't do anything that's remotely pendulum based and while we have only two monster, two pendulum monsters and two link monsters and not very much in terms of support. We have a problem here and it's one of the same issues we've we had previously when we were talking about um, purely when it premiered this year in Amazing Defenders. Where the archetype has something that it can do but we don't know what it is. And this is the problem. While Valmonica might look uh, looks has an initial setup which looks interesting, right? 
it has a lot of out, we need to use a lot of outside support to get this archetype rolling and while we may know what it does as it needs effect damage of exactly 500 life uh, life points to to summon something 500 life points seems to be the cap in terms of monster effects and effect damage that needs to be done effectively right so let's have a look and see this effects right um essentially we have dynam dynamo valmonica with a monster effect that says if this card is in your hand you can discard one other card take one angelico valmonica from your deck and place this card in it in the pendulum zones if this card is normal or special summon you can add you can banish one Valmon Valmonica normal spell or trap from your graveyard. Apply that effect. Very interesting. And then let's see uh, one of the Link Monsters. So we have the Link Monster, Duralume, Valmonican Heathen Hallow. And uh, we have that effect cannot be Link Summoned unless you have three resonance counters. Right? Uh, once per turn, if this card is Link Summoned, you can target th uh, three monsters. Your opponent controls up to the number of resonance counters in your pendulum zone, destroy them. And you can remove three resonance counters from your pendulum zone. This card can make up to three attacks. You know, it has, it's a link one with 2,500 attack. And so we can see here, right, that the Valmonica monsters, monster or pendulums are all about gaining this resonance counter. And this resonance counter is gotten by, by, um, when you gain uh by when you gain life points as we can see here with uh one of the other pendulum monsters that they have so each time you gain each time you gain uh you know life points while you control a fiend monster as we can see with angel angelo valmonica as i read its effect as a pendulum effect then several then it gives one resonance counter and so doing that three times gets you three resonance counters and then with its effect allows you to uh, link summon a Val Mal Valmonica link monster as a pendulum effect. That's Angelo Valmonica. And with the other one, Dior is it Duralume? No, no, no. I think it is Dynamo um, Valmonica. It has a similar effect, but however, it's when you take effect damage instead, right? When you take effect damage will with Dynamo, Pendulum monster has a pendulum effect, you get a resonance counter. But it doesn't have the ability to link summon when you have three resonance counters. Only it's only thing it says is that every time you take effect damage, while you control a fairy monster card in other pendulum zones, then you get you you get a resonance counter. So that's it. So with all this in mind and with uh, everything that I've said, we have a potential of just 40%. Um, while it's clear and concise with these two pendulum monsters, what you're meant to do, right? You're meant to get uh, resonance counters either by controlling a fairy or, you know, fiend, depending on what pendulum monster you have. But again, it's not enough. We have a case here of there's not enough pendulum, there's not enough Valmonica cards to monsters, I would say. To make this work and that's about it okay and so let's grade this side set and so the side set i would grade it as e e is for excellent e is for excellent um it's just it's really quite an average set an average set i'll grade it as an e really average i'm gonna grade it as e it's just not good enough there's no reprints in this set, and while Centurion is gonna be very expensive, as most of the cards in it are ultra or more, it's not worth it to get this set, honestly, even if you want Centurion. It is extremely expensive, and for the power level that Centurion has, it's not enough. Um, it can The deck can be killed. Centurion, while being the strongest archetype in this set, is also, I would say, the weakest archetype in this set. Um, set com comparing it to the meta that we have right now there's loads of things and loads of ways right to disrupt what centurion does does don't get me wrong centurion is a fun archetype but for its current price tag that it's on 
right now it isn't worth it you're better off to get yourself me- memento or even valmonica because the price is a bit cheaper and it's a fun archetype well rise and turn is a fun archetype like all three of them are with the price tag that it has at the moment it is not a, this is not a desired set for the community right now and is the last set that we're having this year in 2023 and that's all i've got to say about the set we come to the end of this video so as i like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. 